Hello, as we do what I think might arguably be the finest district line station on the network, it's time to visit another station in our series of Only Young Connect. It's got a tick and not a connector blob, as today we look at Chiswick Park. So the station was opened in 1879 and was originally called Acton Green. It was later called Chiswick Park and Acton Green before settling on just Chiswick Park in 1910. And today's station building, as you know it, is not the original building. This is actually from 1932. That's when the Piccadilly line was extended through here, with those trains running fast through the middle and the platforms high up and to the side, only serving district line trains. The replacement building is an absolute Charles Holden classic. I love it, with its golden lit semicircular ticket hall and on the exterior, the tower that carries the London Underground logo and station name high above. The station sits right on a small busy junction with a roundabout outside. And it seems like there's always a constant stream of cars or bikes with just people walking by. So if you want to get a clean photo of it, the best time is to come at night when it's quieter, much quieter. And that's also perfect because Chiswick Park may just be the best underground station on the whole of the network to be photographed at night. And whilst you're grabbing that photo from the bridge, note that it's over the district line branch that rumbles on down to Richmond. Yes, those tracks pass by this close, but don't actually call at Chiswick Park Station. Outside here, it's also the entrance to the Gunnersbury Triangle Nature Reserve. That's a piece of land that sits right in the middle of the district, Piccadilly and overground train tracks. There's even an abandoned line that runs through here if you want to try your hand at spotting where that used to be. And back at the station, the platforms are high up above the ticket hall level with these fabulous concrete canopies. Yeah, the canopies are nice, but there's this feeling that because you're high up, the wind is blowing through, so do you think it cute or windswept? If you do think it's windswept, then you do have to like the little waiting shelter areas where there are. It's my second favorite thing about Chiswick Park, the waiting showers. My favorite thing are the handrails here on the eastbound side, where in the middle, it's blue and then green to represent blue for Piccadilly and green for district. And another best part of the station has to be these old heritage signs. They date back to the 1930s with stations listed in each direction. Although the westbound sign remains unspoiled, a plaque below the eastbound one warns passengers that this sign has been retained purely for heritage reasons and that Mark Lane Station is now called Tower Hill. But an indented Tower Hill nameplate has been placed over the top of Mark Lane here, although not quite in the right size font, so it does stand out. Oh, and there's also here, at this point, this coffee shop that I've never seen open. But strangely, the sign with the price list is still in place, allowing you to work out how recently it may or may not have been open. And for a station called Chiswick Park, it still amuses me that it's actually nearer to the plot of land that is actually called Turnham Green. So maybe they should rename the station again. Chiswick Park could become Turnham Green, and we could call Turnham Green... Chiswick Common instead. So that's Chiswick Park on the district line in this episode of Only Unconnect. Playlist coming up, press subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you again next time.